and that is it it's installed so as i said at the beginning the installation itself it's much quicker than this particular video welcome back to another video and today to share with you the easiest and fastest way to install casa os on proxmox if you haven't heard of casa os or proxmox before don't go away don't be scared even if you haven't touched a computer before this will be easy as just copying and Paste. Now, if we take a look at my screen, I've got here Casa OS, which has a really awesome interface, really simple and well designed. If I press here on the App Store, we can see that we have a lot of apps. If I want to install Outguard Home, if I want to install Home Assistant, for example, right over here, if I want to install anything of these apps, it's just a press of a button and that is it. I will have that service running on my network, which is great. Now, you might say that, okay, Robert, we can do a lot with Casa OS, but I feel a little bit limited. So that's where Proxmox comes in. I've got two servers here. This is one of my testing servers here. I can take a look here and show you that it's running on a Intel i7. It's nothing special, but enough for these small tests. And if you have any other computer that it's not being used, you can use it at all. At this moment, I'm using for this server right over here, which we will be working now, the Minix Z300 we have reviewed. I'm going to leave a link down below and also with a Sabrent 2 terabytes but you can use any computer with any hardware that you want so the goal of this video is just to install casa os the easiest and fastest way that we can on proxmox and then on the next video i will share with you one way of installing casa os on proxmox which it will take a little bit longer but it will give us a lot more freedom but this way for someone that just wants to try it out this is the best possible so that being said let's go straight for it and if you are watching this video on your windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official oem keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper and besides windows 11 pro if you are looking for windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below okay so now on our desktop and one of the things that we will see on the next video is how to install casa os on proxmox but with a different method that the main difference is that in the future we will be able to manage storage a lot better than on this version that we are going to see which is basically just copying and paste a line of code now talking about about Proxmox, I've shared here how to install several applications, how to install several services in Proxmox, but I've also shared how to install Proxmox. So if you haven't ever installed a operating system, I will leave the link down below so that you can check that out. And then you just go install Proxmox on your machine. Once you have Proxmox, then get back here and follow along with the installation of Casa. OS. So now let's go for it. So I was talking about this server here, which is where we have this Casa OS installation. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to go to this one here, which is a clean installation of Proxmox on the Minix Z300. So what I need to do, first of all, is besides having Proxmox installed, going to Google and right over here, I'm going to search for Proxmox helper scripts. And if you have, uh, if you are familiar with Proxmox, you know this, but this video is more for those that never heard about Casa OS or want to have some services at home. So this will be a base video for those. And hopefully you will have enough curiosity to install Proxmox and Casa OS. So for example, we have seen in the past how to install Home Assistant with this method as well. So if this is something that you want to run Home Assistant on, Pro on Proxmox, we just need to go here on Home Assistant, copy this line of code, paste where I will show you in just a few moments and that is it we will have home assistant but today it's not about home assistant is about casa os so we need to go here to docker kubernetes and we will find casa os lxc so let's press here where it says copy and then let's go to our proxmox server and right over here we want to search on pve for shell and then on shell going to right click and paste and right now I'm going to press 
enter and basically this is it we are one step away from the installation now we have uh, several options here i'm going to press yes for the installation use default settings or advanced i would say that if this is the first time that you are installing then use this default settings and you will have everything running in just one minute probably on your second third time you will want to use the advanced options to change this and that but you will see that um, it's easy to get now talking about the advanced options these uh, values here are the ones that will be asked if we select the uh, manual options. So it will ask, do you want to install with Debian or any other? Do you want to install version 11 or 12? The container type 1 or 2? Actually, this is something that we could change because this is unprivileged and we want probably to have privileged access, but this is something that you will not use the first time you test out. So this is the kind of things that over time we will learn how to use and we will change. But all the other values here, I can change the disk size, I can change the cores, I can change the RAM allocated, I can change my IP address to a static IP address, for example. So there are a lot of stuff that we can change afterwards. So that is cool as well. Now at this moment it's installing and I will give it a few more seconds and we will get right back. And that is it. It's installed. So as I said at the beginning, the installation itself, it's much quicker than this particular video. So sorry about that. Now it says that it did already uh, made the setup and it is available at this uh, address right over here. So let's copy this address. Let's go here to one tab and paste. And there we go. Let's press enter. And bam, we have Casa OS working on our Casa, our home. Let's create an account. Yes, Roberto George, uh, passwords and Let's select a really hard password. So I'm using easy credentials, so I'll lose myself on the uh, test server. So let's press create. And at this moment, we are, as it says, good to go. So show news as feed, yes, okay, let's accept. One of the things that I would suggest is coming here and update because this version uh, has a lot more things that we can do. For example, on the App Store, if we take a look now, uh, we have not so many. Uh, on the other one that we've seen, we had 269 apps here, probably about 60 or 70, something like that. But there is missing one button here with the update, it will get back where we can install more libraries. But at this moment, if I want to install AdGuard Home, I can just press install and it will start installing. I can select continue in the background and that is it if i want to store my i don't know pictures movies whatever like a nash unit i can use so i can just come right over here and upload whatever i want and i can do a lot with casa OS. so today we are just scratching the surface and the objective is just to see how easy it is to install casa os on Proxmox. So at this moment, if I go to my Proxmox server, I can see that I've got one installation of Casa OS. I've got right over here, which is the one that we are running. And I have a lot more resources to put in a Home Assistant server. So we can go to Proxmox um, helper scripts, for example, and we can install anything that we can see right over here. And besides being able to install services on Proxmox, we can also come to our installation of Casa OS. And if by any reason, Reason, there's something that it's not available on the Proxmox site we can use on Casa OS site and that's the beauty of it we are not limited by anything at all so that being said hopefully this video was helpful and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one